Hey everyone, welcome back into the Fairbanks City News for a Friday night. Mike Schultz with you once again talking about weather. Here we go. We're going into a nice warm temperatures for the weekend. We've been talking about it all week. We'll tell you about it in just a little bit. Our photograph night sent in by Bill Cody. Sunset over the mountains in Candwell. A very nice shot there. Pretty, pretty impressive. And as always, if you have a photograph you want to share, well, by all means, send it to photos at ktbf11.com and we'll share it with the rest of the audience. Your numbers look like this. 48 for the high today, 46 currently. The low last night, 25. Record high, 60. That was in 1996, down to 16 below in 1963. Sunrise and sunset, over 15 and a half hours of daylight. A gain of seven minutes from yesterday. On our satellite and radar, another big blossom of moisture coming up from the south. But again, the Alaska Range is going to block it all out and just give us the strong southerly flow that's bringing the warm temperatures up. And speaking of a lot of uh, moisture, you can see it on the satellite and radar, actually the radar here, and moving across the uh, anchorage and to the south of us, but around us, just some scattered showers for the most part. The rest of the state looks like more rain once again falling across southeast Alaska, around the Anchorage Bowl, looking at sunshine, sh scattered showers at Kodiak, cloudy skies at Colvay, up and down the west coast. It warmed up in Nome, 21 degrees, 4 degrees at Barrow, and Fort Yukon, 43. Lower 48 weather, it looks like this. And again, a very nice day over the western half of the country, 81 degrees at Phoenix, more showers and thunderstorms across Texas, a little bit of cloudiness across the northern and central plains, more storms moving across the deep south, and those show up again on the satellite and radar. There's the area of low pressure that brought some snow to Denver this morning, and the frontal boundary associated with it is kicking up a lot of powerful thunderstorms, bringing some very heavy rainfall, and the overall outlook for tomorrow is calling for some more severe weather, breaking out from Wichita right on down to San Antonio, and in that, you'll see damaging winds, hail, isolated tornadoes, and flooding downpours, all because the jet stream, once again, is diving way down to the south, helping to pull that cold air down from the north, clashing with that hot, humid air coming up from the south. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. A really quiet weather pattern compared to that. Areas of fog and barrel, snow likely for Nome. Scattered clouds at Fort Yukon, and a temperature of 44 at Fort Yukon tomorrow. Over the interior, looking at strong winds to 60 miles per hour in and around the Healy and Delta Junction areas. Uh, sunny and warm otherwise at Fairbanks. Over southeast Alaska, the rain will be continuing across Juneau, but just mainly cloudy skies at Ketchikan, while out to the southwest, looking at rainy periods at Cold Bay and Kodiak, rain and snow for Bethel, and down around the Anchorage Bowl, it looks like for the most part, rain showers in Anchorage, rain and snow in Valdez, and cloudy at Homer, so kind of a wet, wet mess there. And as far as our forecast for the remainder of the night, we're looking at again, as you can see temperatures here, 27 degrees for the overnight low, cloudy skies, a few isolated showers are possible. And tomorrow's forecast, look at that temperature, 56 degrees with scattered clouds and much warmer temperatures. And yes, it continues right on through the five day period there. Your temperatures again, the low to mid fifties each day, partly cloudy skies, looking at overnight lows, also warming up very nicely right around 30 degrees each day, or each night, I should say. And like I said, no precipitation. This is going to be a great weekend. I told you it was going to happen, Joe. I told you. You did. You did. And this time you came through. <laughs>